good morning, folks. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrosso. Welcome to the M Live Morning Weather Update, brought to you by Consumers Energy. Yes, we do have quite the wet pattern on the way, so let's get to it. Um, now, here are the current. Here's the current radar, and you see the showers on the western half of the state from Mackinac City down through the Traverse City region down getting into Grand Rapids and eventually uh, very soon into Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, southwest corner. Um, someone's pulled out the sweaters already. I'm still warm, but it is going to be cooling off. So all that will be shifting toward the east today, and then we'll show you what's going to happen. So here's the radar forecast, and let me get it as big as I can for you. Bear with me just a second. Okay. All right, so this is the short-term radar forecast for you, okay? This is today. So what basically what happens today is the showers shift to the east. This is 11 o'clock noon. Uh, you know, the far southeast, you're probably still dry until sometime this afternoon. This is 2, 3, 4 five o'clock. So by the second half of the afternoon, hey, good morning, Don Clark, r, &R Farms. Um, get much harvested there. And so here we go into this evening, eight o'clock. So what I'm saying is second half of the afternoon, the evening, it starts to turn wet in the southeast. And then that's when the shower activity really picks up. So what you'll notice is the showers are moving toward the east here and then just kind of stop as a wave of low pressure develops along it. And overnight tonight, the rain area blossoms. And now we'll look at the next model that goes out farther, and you can see that also. So this is this afternoon, and this is this evening. And then look at overnight how the rain just kind of stops moving southeast and really comes in. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, so it's a wet day tomorrow. And this is early afternoon. And then you see a curl in the rain pattern. And that's the low pressure center by already by tomorrow evening. So this low pressure center will hold the front up and the rain will ride along it. And that's why we have quite a bit of rain on the way. Hey, thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. Uh, we are into Wednesday evening and it is still raining. And then you can see the rotation of the rain back into the western part of the state, back up into the UP for Thursday, but still the rotation, the pivot point, uh, about over Grand Rapids at that point, and that can send spokes of showers through on Thursday as well. So rain increasing today, wet Wednesday, showery on Thursday, and then let's go farther, okay? So here's the European, which has picked up on this wave of low pressure developing along the cold front for about seven or eight days now. Mimi Noonan uh, Thursday is showery, but not total rainfall. So this is Thursday morning. And well, I guess I should take that back on the European. This is morning into afternoon. This is afternoon into evening. You see the low pressure center there now by Friday, shifting up to Lake Huron and then shifting off on Friday. This is Friday afternoon. And then this is Saturday morning rain coming across and closing off just to our east. Oh, let's go into next week and see what we have. Monday, we're back to a southwesterly flow, trying to warm up a touch. Pardon me. Uh, so Monday, we're trying to warm up a touch, but then look what the European wants to do. It wants to bring another one of these closed areas of rain down into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, and that's a cool flow. And it wants to keep it around. You know, I do know one thing is that the European, if it has a pitfall, 
is sometimes it can get into a it's going to rain forever mode. Um, and it often does not do that. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it. But we do know that today, increasing rain. We do know tomorrow is going to be wet. We know Thursday is going to be showery and Friday maybe drying off. So we will just uh, keep an eye on that for you. Uh, here's the total precip off the European model through Saturday. And yeah, you're seeing two, three, four inches. Uh, Battle Creek, Jackson, Lansing, Flint, the Thumb, the Detroit area, Ann Arbor. So heavy rainfall. Uh, you know, and it probably comes slow enough over the course of three days that we don't have any major road flooding. Um, and it's been a little bit on the dry side recently. So maybe some of it will absorb, but it is certainly going to be a muddy mess. And then look, look what the European does as we go into next week. We take it out to next Thursday, and it has a couple of more rains. So it's putting a 10-day total of 5 inches to 6 inches in places. Probably an inch or so overdone, but certainly... Three to four inches over the next um, oh, 10 days. Uh, now, Carmelita and Tiffany, well, this should take care of any drought that remains? Yes, definitely, especially uh, where it looks like the heaviest rain will be in the driest area. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Lois, Mark Van Strett, and Karen McWhorter. Thanks for watching, too. So we've been talking about this for several days now, and it's a long-lasting storm. It's actually a combination of remnants of tropical moisture, and I kind of lost track of which named storm it was, and then a cold front. They kind of get together, and then they circulate around for several days, and that's actually what's happening. So get ready for a weather change, uh, much wetter weather and much cooler weather with highs by the time we get to Friday or Wednesday and Thursday, highs in the 50s and 60s. And uh, fortunately, it won't get too cold in the mornings because we'll have a lot of clouds around. But still probably down into the 40s. Hey, thanks for joining me, everyone. Tony O'Neill, thanks for joining. Andre Williams, greetings to Muskegon also. Rhonda Ledbetter, good morning, Cass City. Uh, Laura Lynn Harris, time to plant grass seed. You know, sometimes if it's flat ground, it might be okay, but at three to four inches, I'd probably wait until after it rains, give it a couple of days to dry up and not be mud, and then rake it lightly and plant grass seed. Uh, I know, you know, you want, you want as much time as possible for grass to germinate now, but I, I still think you have warm soil and plenty of time. And if it just pounds three or four inches of rain in several days, that grass seed will float up to the top and uh, drift right on away. So there you have it. Thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa, and this update has been brought to you by Consumers Energy. Take care, and of course, on M Live, we'll keep you abreast of any heavy rainfall. Looks like it's coming. A big soaker. Check the sub pump. Make sure it's working.